Allahu Akbar. Welcome to our audience that is viewing from home during this lockdown. Um, my name is Kashmir Maryam and this is my sister Aisha. Aisha, would you like to introduce yourself and what we do as the Strangers Organization? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Um, my name is Aisha and I am part of an organization called The Strangers and our goal is to revive the message of Islam and we do this through uh, different different means. One of the means is through spoken word poetry, through the collective voice of Muslim poets around the world um, and just being able to clear up misconceptions. So that's our main goal. Um, yes, Kashmir. Yeah, excellent. Jazakallah khair. Uh, so... The work that we do as the strangers is we host a lot of uh, poetry slams. A lot of the time they're, um, you know, in person. And so we have our poets go up on stage. They compete for trophies um, and prizes. And we just have a good time. It's basically to platform the Muslim voice so that we can portray the true message of Islam through the art of spoken word poetry. Um, so it's a creative yes. art. It's something that is uh, powerful and empowering. Um, and that's what we wanted to do for you today. So we have a great show lined up for you all. Um, we hope that you enjoy watching. Um, and I just wanted to clarify a few things that are a little bit different about uh, slam poetry uh, versus written poetry or any other type of poetry, Shakespeare, whatever you, whatever type of poetry you are into. Um, so the difference between slam poetry is that it is um, about the content of the poem. So how deep is the lyrical content? how um how relevant is it to the audience how how powerful is the 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 methods that are used to articulate what is being said in the poem and second of all um the the powerful thing about slam poetry and probably one of the more important traits of slam poetry is that it is heavily about the way in which the message is revealed to the audience so it's not just about reading from a sheet of paper it's about how that message is delivered um, so that's something that we put a lot of emphasis on as the strangers and we do uh, with all of our poets as well. So inshallah today you'll be hearing some slam poetry and um, I hope that you enjoy the show and all of the poets that we have lined up. Uh, there are three simple rules that we have for the poets. That is number one, the content has to be um, appropriate. So no curse words. Um, uh, there, there is no inappropriate content um, and our poets do understand that. The second rule is that uh, we have to make sure that the poem is under five minutes. Um, and number three is just to be respectful of everyone that is up there performing. Everyone is sharing something that is meaningful to them. And that's something very personal. And we have to respect that because that's very sanctified. Um, so, yeah. So, without any further ado, I would like to introduce our judge for this evening. Her name is Tahani Salah. Is Tahani there? I'm here. Assalamu As alaikum, Tahani. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, we're doing good. Perfect. So I have Tahani your bio here. I'm just going to read it. And um, hopefully that will explain to everyone your background in poetry. I personally, I know Tahani from before. Um, she's a slam poet. So she knows a thing or two or more than a thing or two about performance. And that's one of the reasons we chose to have her on our platform today. Um, and that's something that means a lot to us because I think to be a writer is one thing, but to be a performer is something, um, is something else. So, uh, Jazakallah her for joining us today. Thank so, you. Tahani Salah is an educator, poet, and activist based in Brooklyn, New York, with a bloodline to Palestine. She's a graduate of Columbia University, a former professor of curriculum development at the Cooney Graduate Center. She's also a member of the New York Slam team. She competed internationally and holds many slam titles from Europe to Africa. Tahani has also been featured on HBO's Death Poetry Jam. She is a passionate about peace and activism and carries that into the classroom as an educator, showing how life creates art and using it all as a tool of expression. As an artist dedicated to bringing light and solutions to communities where people's voices have been silenced, Tahani has performed at a number of world-famous stages, including the Apollo Theatre in New York City, to universities in the US, South Africa, Germany, Canada, Palestine, Jordan, and many more. <laughs> Mashallah. Okay, so Tahani, you told me to pick one or two lines from your bio, but I felt like everyone needed to hear that. Um, so welcome. Um, okay, so our next poet um, is going to be uh, Brother 
Haberoy, I don't know if I pronounced it again, and uh, hopefully, God willing, it's gonna go, it's gonna be clear this time. So the stage is yours again, go for it. All right, hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Um, once again, uh, my name is Pablo Roy. My real name is Pablo Saba. I'm a Palestinian American poet, born and raised in Miami, Florida, but I'm coming at you today from Jakarta because I'm stuck here due to coronavirus. Um, so this poem, is it goes by the name of uh, Monsters in the Bedroom. There's three monsters in your bedroom, but you've only really ever seen two. See, there's the one under the bed and the one in the attic behind the ceiling light. They both show very different faces, but hide in kindred darkness. Fear and desire they both draw strength from the tenured lack of light, recessing and knowledge's recesses. And that mattress is nothing but the carpet stitched of springs and cotton. Fear has gotten swept under. And they'll never let you forget that it's down there. So you, you skip town there. You found air. You fly fast, forward and far. You dash toward the stars till your barge ends up stuck in a whole bunch of nothing. Desire's light had you fronting, it treated, it tricked you to think you could keep fear away, so you steer away, flying blind with stars in your eyes to a darkness you think you know until you hit that plummet and you hit the summit and you plummet. Desire's light had you fronting. These brothers, they're mad cunning. They made you believe that there's something wrong with your plumbing. There's something that they have everything that you, you need to fix the plumbing. So keep running. They're mad cunning. These brothers, they swing flaming swords back and forth for like forever and a fortnight. Like a snitchless game of Quidditch. So your brain, it's skittish. Lenses lidded, fitted in like a new era while these pair of bouncers, they pounce. They scramble up your ego infinito. They whip it to work. Wow, who'd have thought it would work? How they keep guarding this garden, the one you were born and begotten. I don't know, you must have forgotten. Caught, tricked, and fooled into walking. Egos coughing, clamoring to and fro. Zen, let it go, no one else but self. In a dance between the darkness, perfectly timed to the rhythm rattling threshold, the third monster waits behind. It's a locked door metronome you have learned to hate. It never hibernates. You can feel its pace, the walls, they shake with every step that it takes. The doorknob rattles to the same pace that its blood circulates and when it stops heaving, you can hear it breathing and a faint screaming sinks in as you reach and then you start to think of its repugnance. You let your hand go and you keep trudging, huffing, puffing, a bludgeoned, scuffed soul, sold by the same sucker who's too disgusted to stop and wonder, like, yo, what kind of spell am I under? Blundering, bending backwards to keep fronting and acting like half of you's not sure which side of the lock is the trap. See, there's three monsters in that bedroom. You've really only ever seen two, but the fact is, there's not a single in mirror in there, so what to do? Thank you. Wow, let's just say I am so happy that we managed to get connected again and that you managed yeah. to sort out the Wi-Fi situation. MashaAllah, that was uh, phenomenal. And I personally love your performance style. I think it's very moving. I think it helps your words connect with your audience. I thought, I thought it was very powerful. So JazakAllah oh, for sharing that. Jazakallah, hey brother, for sharing. Alhamdulillah, uh, you were able to share and we had a lot of comments uh, from the live comment feed that people, I think someone said they were digging it. I haven't heard that in a very long time, but they were digging it. So click, 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 alhamdulillah. Um, Jazakallah, hey, and inshallah, more to come. Now we're online, virtual and connected, inshallah. Thank you, brother. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
I want to thank everyone here. I want to thank primarily um, for hosting us on their platform every single year when we host this. It's just an amazing success. And I can say, Alhamdulillah, from the bottom of my heart, I think this was phenomenally successful. So, Jazakallah Khair. I want to say a special Jazakallah Khair to, uh, to Hani for doing this, for doing the very, very difficult job of judging. It can never be. Thank you so much. And may Allah reward you and, um, and uh, you know, for taking the time out. You're also a mother. So, you know, it, I know it's difficult juggling uh, duties. So, I reward you for that. And, um, yeah, do you have any closing remarks, Aisha? Um, I just wanted to say that, um, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. May Allah bless all of the viewers for attending. Um, I pray that we all benefited from an event without our poets. Um, now, saying that as well, um, I'm not sure if you can see me. Okay, you could see me now. Um, no further ado, uh, you can find The Strangers on Instagram. Our website is in the works, inshallah. So please do uh, definitely follow up with more information about the Uyghur campaign, uh, which is a current campaign that we're doing. We hope you enjoyed the letter, the final compilation. Um, a lot of heart went into it from our poets. And thank you again to everyone. And of course, Sister Tahani, you did an amazing job. Jazakal khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And ikna. Of course, ikna. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly i just want to say the greatest thank you to all of our poets for contributing their pieces it was mind-blowing and touched my heart and i'm sincerely saying that as someone who's been to a lot of poetry slams and a lot of poetry over the years as tahani and as aisha can both attest to we had an amazing level of talent tonight um so may allah reward you all and yeah i'm gonna close it right there and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh